Thank you very much. So, um, as you just heard, I am the founder and master connector of Midas PR. I will not talk to you about communications, and I won't be talking to you about PR today. Actually, this morning, many ladies were talking about some issues that women face, and I want to show you uh, ladies here and gentlemen that it's not just the minorities or people in India that suffer from abuse or harassment. It can be powerful ladies or people that, that look powerful like myself. So uh, indeed, this has happened to me. But before I speak about this, I would like to honor my country of adoption, Thailand, and show a little video uh, that talks about perseverance, persistence, which is also one of the topics that I want to cover. So, video please. So, I wanted to honor Pon today from Thailand, which has become my home, and I'm very proud that one day I will become Thai too, even though I will never quite look Thai. So, 15 years ago, I was a successful businesswoman in Luxembourg. I had a company in interior design. We designed the European Parliament, the European Commission, many museums. I was at the top of my industry. And yet, I was a very unlucky and very unhappy woman. Why? Because my business partner and life partner every single day would tell me, I'm going to kill you, and if you leave me, I will not only kill you, I, if I don't kill you, I'll put you in a wheelchair, I'll destroy you. You cannot do anything without me. You're lost, you're worth nothing. Every day, he would tell me awful things. And obviously, if during seven years of your life, you have that kind of person talking you down, it takes a hit on you. Everyone on the outside that was meeting me when I was making this very big deals with the European commissions, they would think, oh, what a lucky woman. She has a man who adores her. She has a very successful life. She's got a big house. She's got the big Mercedes. She's got the uh, beautiful dresses, bags, everything. But what is that worth if inside you feel like you're lost, like you have nothing, like you're not a woman? It's worth nothing. So many of my friends, when I told them 15 years ago, I'm going, I'm going to leave everything, they were saying, are you crazy? You've got the best life. No man can love you more. You've got everything. Don't leave. And yet I felt if I stayed on, I would stay on and not be a woman. I'd just be this robot, this leader who would do these deals. And then when I go back and I'm in front of the mirror, I would continue hating myself. So one day, I, you know, after many arguments with my ex and him breaking several doors and really frightening me, I went to the police and the police said, well, show me the bruises. Where are they? And that's the terrible part, you know, when you have no bruises except inside, you have nothing to show, you don't get any help. So I had to do everything on my own. I arranged one day when he was away to leave with my dog, with just one bag. I left to Paris. I went in a hotel under an assumed name, and I stayed there until I found the courage to start a new life, and I came to Bangkok. In Bangkok, I had nothing. I had no friends, although I did have a very strong support in my brother who had moved to Bangkok 
two years prior. So at least I had left all my friends, I had left all my family. I did not tell anyone I was going, but I still had my brother. Of course, because he knew my brother was in Bangkok, I never went to my brother's apartment for six months. I stayed undercover, but you cannot live your life undercover. So I decided that instead of being afraid, I, I would empower myself. And I decided to work in an industry where I've become very visible. Today, if you Google me, uh, you will find me very easily. And I'm not afraid anymore. In fact, last year I saw him again, and I'm no longer afraid of this man who's like almost two meters tall, 130 kilos, and could have indeed killed me in one or two minutes.